the intro. Check it out, it's your boy Dame Grease, Lot Block, Wave Gang, Rough Riders all day, man. Got that knock.com, and we doing it how he does, man. Damn. First um, placement was um, Get On The Bus soundtrack. It was the last track by um, a young Muslim dude by the name of Brother Allende. And he said a speech and I put the music that was under the speech. That was my very first placement. Shout out to London McMillan, Seven Racks, I remember. <laughs> Bro, my first major placement was we was Love Pop with the tribute Biggie Smalls when Biggie got killed when we was all out of the I first started with my man Shorts, DJ Shorts, you know what I'm saying? Pull up DJ Shorts and Maxi. I had a song on my phone and um and in this crib he had um maybe had Roland Ari drum chain. It was a it was a sequencer, a little gray sequencer. I forgot what it is or shit. Um keyboards. And what was the sampler? It was the Casio FZ10 it was the sampler. Remember, that was like the first set of joints I made. Niggas in the black demo for me. Short the demo for all the drinks from LBD. Right now, like, I'm so fucking mentally stretched the fuck out, man. Like, my shit is broad, man. I use everything. Everything. Live instruments, full loops, garage band, Ableton, MPC 3000, fucking keyboard rack mounts. Whatever's in front of me, I plug up and rock out. I use it. So right now, I want to say there's a real definite thing that I use, you know what I'm saying? Anything that I use, I create. I can create my sound. Life. If my life was dull, I wouldn't be able to make music. So I keep my life excited. That's a lot of shit rocking, man. I ain't front of that. And that's what a lot of people do, man. You know what I'm saying? I got like... 97, 2012, so I got a good relevancy going and shit. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, me myself personally, I don't take just because I've done this then and this there that there's nothing else that's knocking. That's that fucking dickhead nigga shit. I don't do that. The shit is hot, shit is hot, no matter how it go, you know, so I'm a business nigga, you know what I'm saying? So I don't really, a lot of people like, especially like that came out when I came out, people would actually say, no, and that's not the, what we used to with different things. I don't believe in that because when I came out, I had a bunch of people saying, what is that? That's not gonna work. That's something different. And I was like, fuck you. And I'm still here relevant for motherfucking shit. Good old 17 years, man, I'm straight. <laughs> so, um, joints that's out right now that's knocking, there's a lot of shit, man, like shit. Give us one. One. My nigga traded down James. Go along to my chain. <laughs> I fuck with that right there, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with that dude right there, man. He doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Different, bold, bold. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's some of the key things I fuck with. Hmm, street beats, burn, burn. A couple volumes, burn, burn. Well, I used to cut up all the time. Of course, fucking drummer. You know what I'm saying? Very much, you know what I'm Course, a piece of president was always a you know what I'm saying a break beat cut favorite um shifting gears and actually I use shifting gears and actually DMX um fucking with D doom 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 Because I am a favorite producer, but I'm not a dickhead. Um, like I said, um, a couple people, Bomb Squad. Um, if it was Tip, Ali, or Shali, Trial Court Quest tracks, you know what I'm saying? Um, R. Kelly as a producer is phenomenal, so I get it twisted, you know what I'm saying? Um, of course, was the Funky Bunch Funk Brothers, right? The guys that made all the music that we need to, so I get it twisted. Gamble and Huff out of Philly, you know what I'm saying? Um, and there's actually 
up to date producers that are actually unique. Pharrell, Neptunes, fuck with them. Um, Dre, of course. Um, Timbo did his own unique thing. Um, I did my own unique thing. Swiss did his own unique thing. Um, I like my little homie Jalil. You know what I'm saying? So right now, that's my nigga right there. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with y'all little beats. Bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like them the first Soulja Boy beats he used to do. Because he used to do something simple, but he used to ride that shit, right? You know what I'm saying? Go people, man. I'm not biased. It would have to be something that I would ever freestyle to on the mixtapes. What did me and French do? Um, I'd rather fuck you, the blanket. The NWA joint. So if I did it over, that means that I fuck with it. So when we did that on one of the Coke Wave 2 and shit, that's one of them. What we did, we did pitch ups rolling, I fuck with that, that's one of them. You know what I'm saying? If I like it, I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, the time didn't change, you know what I'm saying? From a nigga liking it growing up, that shit is kinda outdated, so I'm gonna bring it back on some new wave. Hello. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we do it like that. Um, so like anything that um that I liked or I done, if you check out the whole mix saves, I rap to the motherfucker. I had somebody rap to it, because I liked it. So I can't really Well, that's a tricky thing, man. Because you saw putting these Twitters out, you saw getting a thousand Twitters and so on and so forth, you got to chop down who's about real business and all that. I need to see my fucking management name. But hit up wavegangglobal at gmail.com. We about service business, we get it. All the rest of that shit, somebody going to tell you, fuck you, and they going to put your name out there that you're playing games and wasting time. Hello. <laughs> that's how they do it.